Hey, we're live, we're live, we're live. How are you guys? I'm gonna give it a couple of minutes to acclimate and then we'll get into it. Uh, so I have a couple of things that I wanna talk to everyone about today. My name is Anisha Battle. It is November, 2022. We are going to finish this year strong. Finish this year strong. Mm. I do want to jump on this internet. I, I know you guys uh, by now should know how I do. I jump on, I jump off. And while I am extremely grateful for offers, I am very, 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 very grateful for offers. I would like some of you to understand that owners are getting multiple, multiple, multiple offers, multiple, multiple offers. And some realtors are doing really well and some realtors um, are sending hotmess.com. And then some of you guys are not represented by an agent, which is a blessing to me because now I can potentially get both sides of the deal. But you guys are not sending complete offers and some landlords are extremely strict. And if it's not my listing, I have to join the Shark Tank with, you know, Progress Residential Invitation Homes and some of the ones that are digital underwriters. So one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about today, specifically November 2022, um, I was blessed with an offer, a real estate offer that has a rental and security deposit utility program attached to it. Yes, there are still programs in our community that will help tenants with their rental and security deposit requirements. However, comma, you guys have to be a little bit more strategic with how you put your offer together. So this particular offer came in and it is from a community revitalization affiliate. And in this particular city, um, in order for this program to assist with the first, last security deposit, utility connection, startup, et cetera, et cetera, you have to have a, a few more documents with your offer. In other words, thank you for loving the listing and completing, you know, application, pay stubs, printouts with income. Um, of course, y'all know I love Section 8, so we've got the Section 8 voucher. And then at the end of the transaction, when my client is entertaining it, you guys are saying, oh, by the way, I have a program paying the deposit. In a normal rental transaction, the deposit is, it accompanies the offer in what we call escrow. If you're not working with a realtor and you're unrepresented, and that's another video for another day for those of you who are disrespecting the profession and working with four realtors, somebody's gonna end up pressing, suing, and coming after someone because I've received offers where it'll say Karen from Century 21 is representing Jane Doe tenant. And then another offer comes in with the same tenant's name from another realtor. And I'm like, I'm not touching that. I'm not getting involved with that, but I will let you guys know someone somewhere has to figure out who's representing the tenant because the investor's paying one commission to one agent and one broker. We're not fighting about who's and what. And that's what happens when tenants are realtor shopping and it actually sours the entire transaction, especially now with the post-pandemic inflation market, rental market. You have a lot of realtors who are just starting to do rentals for the first time. And when you burn them, they're like, no, thank you. I don't do rentals. Call me when you're ready to buy a house or sell a house not doing it. We need as many allies in this industry as possible with the shark tank that we have, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so CRAs. This particular CRA has a list of things that are required in order to get a check from the city. So do me a favor, ladies and gentlemen, watch this video, put it on repeat or call my phone, 786-309. I'll put it somewhere. When you want to rent and secure a property and you don't have your security deposit, you should let me know. I can't speak for my other practitioners up front 
because when I don't see a deposit binding the agreement, I wouldn't take that house off the market. I don't have that much trust anymore. I have been burnt. If you guys watch my introduction video, you guys know that I'm 20 years in the business. Um, at this point, you burnt the bridges multiple, multiple times. We're holding houses for, I, I, I want the house. I want the house, Miss Battle. Please, 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 Miss Battle. Please, I want it. I'm going to go to Am Scott and I'm going to get the money orders. And then you tell the next three or four callers, hey, the property's off the market. And then you're like this waiting. No, she's going to come back. She's coming back. Hi, is this house still available? Yeah, I'm holding it for someone. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> I show it. You apply for it. I secure it. Check, check, check. That's it. So this program requires a landlord uh, approval letter required from the landlord. And the letter needs to say that either the first month deposit is required, first, last required, et cetera, et cetera. Also, if this is assistance for a utility deposit, we need alternate forms of documentation that requires a notarized signature. I am a mobile notary. I can take care of that for you guys. All right. However, comma, you also need a landlord to complete the W-9. This is where these deals go sour. And here's why. If the landlord is not an LLC entity and it's a private person, they need to put their social usually on these documents. So here it is. I have a home. This gentleman has asked me or man, woman has asked me to find them a tenant. I find them a tenant and then I fail to tell them, hey, the tenant never told me that she didn't have security deposit. But she has a program that's going to pay it. Oh, but I need your social security number. Oh, and I need you to fill out this vendor um, information form. And I need original submitted to the office. And we cannot request a check from the city without original documents. Oh, you're in Colombia, Jamaica, Cuba, uh, Montego Bay. You're on vacation. You're in Hawaii. Wait, you live in Europe? Please, ladies and gentlemen, I will bless you as the plug. I will help you. But let me tell you something, if you don't have security deposit and I show you a property and you spring this on me later, someone's going to take that house from you. So do me a favor, um, reach out to me if you need assistance. You guys know I stay on the phone with uh, Shamar, Shamar, Mr. Shamar, you name it. If there is money in Dade, Broward, and sometimes Palm Beach County, I'm here to find it. I'm on the phone with all type of E-Rap, e rag HUD, VASH, uh, Housing Choice, Housing Choice, Shelter Plus for Housing Choice, Veterans of America, Catholic Charities of America, The Lord's Place, Damba, Karamba. Where are you, Damba? I missed you. I haven't touched base with you in a while. But I am a friend of all of these programs. But sometimes you guys don't have your ducks in a row and you make the transaction hard for the landlord to accept as the real estate professional on the deal. I just want clean paperwork. And I want people who are not represented by realtors to have a fair fighting chance to get your offer to the top of this stack. But I do an entire checklist, you know, I do an entire checklist to tell everybody exactly how to get the deal done. You know, it's really only eight steps. This particular realtor, Super clean deal, super clean, but they lowball the offer. This particular owner of this property, 600 plus credit score, two and a half times the rent. I like this real estate broker and I like that particular offer. Like, guys, call me, go on my website, securethisdeal.com. Click on affordable housing if you're doing affordable housing. If you have one of these programs, call me first so that we can get the frequently asked questions to the investor or to the landlord before getting them excited to accept your offer just to find out that we have to wait two, four, six weeks to get the deposit. There are people showing up to the property with their cashier's check because they have missed out on so many houses. Also, some of these programs have a rental income limit you know, if you're going to ask a landlord of a property to understand your program and your program has 20 pages of requirements, public records disclosure, uh, terms and conditions, notice of collecting social security number for the government, uh, this particular rental security deposit supporting documents, 
Please provide them we do not make copies. Approval to rent, six months pay stubs, employee's name, federal income tax return, last tax returns for the last two years. If you have dependents, birth certificate, school records, you guys think you're going to get this money from these CRAs and not proof up? You have another thing coming. This particular one, a printout from court or government agency if you are relying on your income for child support or alimony. If you're unemployed, notarized sworn statement, self-employed income, account, bookkeeper statement, net income, profit and loss. Okay, we'll talk about it. Let's get into it. I'm down for getting you guys help as long as you're honest people and you're not engaging in fraud, especially getting money from the government when a W-9. This particular one is literally, I kid you not, 18 pages. And then at the last page, authorization to release information. Do not engage in fraud with these people. Security deposit assistant. The paralegal in me is not playing. Please list your assets, checking, savings, credit union, stock, life, other. That's that money in your mattress. Please list all household members. So, you know, this program looks really great. I hope some of you are able to take advantage of it if you have the need. And, you know, as a property owner and a taxpayer, I am here for it. I'm not a hater ever. I want everyone to get the help they need to secure safe, clean, and affordable housing. However, comma, do not send an offer to a realtor like myself without the documents needed and then just expect a landlord to go, you know, engage in all of these. Th okay, Miss Michelle. No problem. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm live and I'm getting messages. Okay, so here's the, the reality. This offer comes with an 18 page packet that needs to be completed. This offer came with pay stubs, clean, uh, you know, please attach, please find, you know, my client wants to rent this 2000 square foot house for $3,750 a month. Just, I don't expect John Q. Public to understand the behind the scenes for a real estate transaction, but just as a person watching my video from all areas and walks of life, if you're a landlord and you're thinking about giving me your listing, this video should let you know, wow, this professional is super, super, super serious about ducks being in a row, AKA proper documentation to support that you can pay this $37.50 for this particular house. If you are a fellow practitioner, then you should know my offers are coming to your listing with the same amount of skill, care, diligence, and professionalism, clean, concise. If you are a tenant and you're thinking about clicking, calling, texting, and reaching out to me, then you've got to know I now have what five videos. Miss Battle is absolutely going to ask you the same five questions, and I just realized that I should be asking you 18 pages worth of questions. So yes, these are some of the things that we need to know. There are rental and security deposit programs available. I literally just got this, and I am excited for someone to take advantage of it. And you guys know how I do. Once this deal closes and the check is cut, I'll be back on the internet saying it's real. It's real. We got money from the city of such and such and my customer moved into the house and my landlord is happy. The check came within this amount of time. Don't quote me on it because I know Family Success had a program that we had during the pandemic and it was equally as amazing and it didn't take a long time to get the check. So I kind of got spoiled. All right, so that's it. I'm in, I'm off the internet. You guys know I keep my videos pretty short, but I wanted to talk to you today. This particular property is $3,750. I want to secure it. It's in the city of Miramar. It is a single family, three bedroom home. In my opinion, it's perfect and ideal for a section eight tenant because the zip code is 33029. We know that 33029 pays the most. However, not if you gave me an offer and said, well, I want it. Oh, but by the way, I don't have $37.50 for security deposit, nor $7,000 for that matter. Um, in order to get it, I know of a program. What do you mean? Well, it's a program that's going to pay it. What is needed? Um, don't even worry about it. I have 18 pages of application. 
I'll try to help you get your deal done, but you have to tell me what is required from the landlord when you guys want us to use these programs. Be well, everyone. Finish your year strong. It's November 2022. Let's get these deals done. Let's get keys in the hands of buyers, keys in the hands of tenants, and let's get my sellers closed and funded in a record time and get them record prices for their homes so that we can keep this machine moving. Be well. Bye.